what is going on everyone my name is Danny. in today's video we have a phone lot unboxing again and this is a 10 phone lot 10 bucks x shipping so that's about 17 bucks in total for 10 phones which isn't bad i'm just gonna unbox it and test the contains probably a little bit different i'll probably go ahead and take out one by one and there is a lot of phones here we got a Nokia, let's see what is this, does it not have a battery, a 6230i, I should uh, probably go ahead and test them as well, we got a Samsung, Samsung Marvel or something, I'm not entirely sure what this is, a dual sim phone, it has, uh, it's a GTB7722, Apparently this is called a Samsung 7722 Duo SIM. So it is a touch device, for some reason Duo SIM device. And here we have a Sony Ericsson F500i. It's a little cool phone in blue. I got a couple similar devices, so I'm not sure if I already have this. I think it has an active camera cover like this, that you can open and close. I'm probably not gonna need these knives this is very nice and here we have another Samsung I think oh no this is the Nokia Express music Ooh, this one is in very good condition does it have the stylus or does it not have a stylus why is this opened I don't know the phone's probably working pretty sure this doesn't slide or what but I have another one and I could probably use my old back cover for this and then the express music is good to go and this one is in real good shape compared to the other one so that's another one that I can trade off or swap whatever you want to call it Ooh, it's a very nice looking Sony Ericsson it's a K200i and it looks very familiar it kind of reminds me of the the phone from GTA 4 so halfway through we have a Nokia and I don't have a battery for this one myself but I have another one of these that I can then either trade or this one, whichever. No battery, but phone seems to slide. Kind of worn condition, but nothing too major. Let's see what we got here. Ah, the Samsung Diva. Wow, pretty cool. Strange texture, got a couple buttons on the side and all that. Pretty cool phone. Here's a Samsung Jet, which, leads, uh, which also seems to be in a oh, rather rough condition, I mean compared to the one that I have. Also with the cool red texture on the back. Uh, that's that's one I'll save for last. Here we have an Alcatel. I have another one of these in pink which I charged up so I could probably go ahead and charge it. This one of those uh, Alcatel full touch phones. Maybe there's charge in it, maybe not. And let's see, last but not least. Rare Nokia! Oh! Oh, and it's in, it's in good shape too. Oh, oh, the battery is bulging. This is a 6350. I have taken out the battery because it's bulging and the back cover cracked thanks to that. Alrighty, so uh, I thought we we're gonna switch to the other side of the table real quick and we're going to start off with the top left moving all the way to the bottom right. Let's see if the Sony Ericsson works. And that's a good sign already. See if we can turn it on. Good sign, it's asking for a pin code. And it says the sim is inactive. This phone needs an active sim, so I cannot test it properly. But it works, so that's good. Here we have the other Sony Ericsson. Now this one also works, it says it's charging. We got a Photophone logo. Um, Turn itself back off. 1962. It is sim locked to Photophone, but at least we know that this phone does something. So that's about enough. All right, there we have the Nokia 6230i. Now the battery I have here should be charged. Um. Well, 
I guess that's one for either parts or maybe if you guys are interested in a destruction video because apparently we have a broken LCD screen. Uh, well. Next is this Nokia 2680S2. And there we go with the battery. I just got the phone booting. So let's see if we can get this thing into the screen of main. Alright. There it is for a code. It's probably blocked. And then we have the rare Nokia 3650. I need to check. I don't know the model numbers. And hopefully. Yeah, we got some life in here. Alright, I needed to mess to reset this thing real quick because there were fixtures on the on the back and I don't know how this phone works. Uh, we got some stuff here and as you can see this phone works perfectly fine and it's a pretty cool phone too. It got a big camera on the back, probably VJ. Alright, now it's time to take a look at the Samsung Duo SIM real quick, which is right here. Uh, I actually charged it a little bit just to make sure that there's enough juice in the phone to get it all started up and let's give it a shot see what happens I am greeted by a pin code in screen but it looks like we got this thing set to polish yep got it started things gonna start up right now if you need Google Translate there we go Google Translate at it again after that I will do a factory reset on this thing hopefully it will boot up again I'll go ahead, but look at this, the phone seems to work, it's kind of slow, but it seems to go pretty well, it has Wi-Fi, proper feature phone, now let's see what the Alcatel does, let's see, it's an Alcatel Vodafone 541, this probably doesn't work without a SIM, but it's Vodafone locked, for sure, so, right, we have a prompt for the pin, Asking for a network code. That means we have a SIM lock. So next up is the Samsung Jet. I also charged this one up a little bit. This is now my second Samsung Jet. And uh, I've owned three of these in the past. One of them was from DJL1. The other one was from my phone lot. And now I have this one as well. Pretty good looking phone, honestly. Oranges, the device seems to work. Yeah, the device works fine, that's a good thing. Now let's go for the Nokia Express Music. Oh, that's a good sign. I see the backlight coming up. There we go. Very nice. Ooh, that's nice. Phone seems to be in uh, decent shape. Kinda strange how to work with Symbian, but... Uh, yeah, also this one seems to be really good, so it's also a good phone, pretty shape, so I might actually go ahead and put my other back cover on here and call it a day, because this is definitely in a good condition. And finally, the Samsung Diva, and I think that that will also work. I like the diamond-shaped button here. And it also looks like this phone is working. Yep. Looks like we have a working device. It might be a little bit slow, but it needs to start up. So, yep, it's all themed for a diva, looks like. Passive touchscreen, that was pretty fancy back in the day. But yeah, that's it. We got a couple of working phones here, honestly. There are two phones that are actually a little questionable at this point. This one with the code and this one has a cracked screen. The rest of these phones are working like a champ. I'm pretty happy with the result. And there we have it. 10 working phones for 10 bucks. Now, do you guys think this was a good deal? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see an in-depth video of any of these phones on this table right now, also let me know in the comment section below. Now without further ado, this was today's video, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment and if you're new to my channel and don't want to miss out on any new content in the future don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and see you all later, peace out!